Welcome back to Sunster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and welcome to my guide on Field of Glory 2 Medieval. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to get a unit to break in one turn. So we're going to pick a steady unit. So we're going to be focusing on this unit, Nomad Light Horse Archers 35. They are a steady unit, and they have almost full strength, 464 to 468. The 4 doesn't really make a difference. And I'm going to show you how to break it. There are two main ways to break a unit in one turn. There are a lot more if you're willing to do it over two or three turns, but if you want to do it one turn, there are two ways. So the first version is outer break. And the second version, a combination of melee attack, ranged attack, and some special circumstances. So we're going to start off with outer break. How do you get a unit to outer break? If the unit has average quality, which this one does, you need to get it to below 50% strength. So if it's maximum strength is 468, you need to get it to 234 in order for it to break. If a unit has a lower quality, you need to do less damage. If a unit has a higher quality or generally, you need to do more damage. If you'd like to know more about Outer Break, let me know. I may do a specific guide. So let me show you an example. We need to get this to 244. So we're going to start off with a range attacks. You're always going to start with range attack first because the once a unit gets locked in melee, you cannot attack it anymore. So we're going to start off with some of these units that we have over here. You always want to make sure that you turn because you're going to do a lot more damage as opposed to if you don't turn and just stand there. So we're going to ju just use our shots. Now we're going to move a little bit closer so we can get some more shots at it. Something to keep in mind is that you cannot shoot over your friends over your friend unit, so you need to have space, at least like a diagonal space like this. If this unit was here and this unit was just one step behind, I wouldn't be able to shot. Now this unit is disrupted now, right now, and if you try, when I'm trying to go for outer break, you would stop at this point with range attacks. Why? Because you can only make a unit drop one cohesion level with range attacks. You cannot make it fall another one. So I would stop at this point. So we're going to continue with this unit, we're going to turn around and shoot. If we hover over this, you can see that they they have now 276. Remember, we need to get them to 234, so it's just going to be a few more shots. So here I'm going to move to this position. I should be able to turn enough, yes, to get a shot. 268. Going to move this way, shoot over here. I'm trying to make sure that I have space to shoot with all of my units, and then I'm going to move here, and I should be able to finish them off with 8 to 48. Yes, you can see we got them below 234, more specifically to 224, and they outer broke. Why outer breaking is so good for you? It's because you do not get locked in melee. So. If you've seen my tips and tricks series, you know that this is one of my bonus tips. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should. You can click on the right top here to watch it. But if you're playing the Mongol invasion, which is what I played in this game the most, it's some of your units are just not strong in melee combat and you don't want to get them locked in combat because if you do, they can end up in a really bad situation. It can be really easy for the enemy to kill them. So outer breaking is a way to ensure that you can destroy an enemy without getting locked in combat. Another really cool benefit of outer breaking is that it's a certain way. The cohesion tests are always like a chance. Someone, if you don't know what a cohesion test is, I also have a guide for you. Click on the right top to watch it. I'll look in the description. But the point is that cohesion tests are based on roles and uh, you can succeed or fail that role. So if an enemy unit succeeds the role, it will not break. And so it is. there isn't certainty in the fact that you will break it. Now, if you, let's say you have 39% of enemy army route and you just need that one unit, okay? Just that one unit. You might want to try to go for outer break because you can be certain that if you get the enemy to low enough level, they will break and you can win. All right, so let me now show you the other version on how to get rid of that unit. All right, so now that we finished the 
you know, with Auto Break, let me show you the other version. So the other version is you're going to be using a combination of melee attack, ranged attack, and some special circumstances in order to get the unit to drop essentially three cohesion or morale levels in one turn. So from steady to disrupted, from disrupted to fragmented, and from fragmented to broken, because that's what we want. There are three different ways you can achieve this. Which way you want to use is going to be depend on, depending on your circumstances, on the unit that you have, and on placement of your units and things like that. But the first step is the same for all of these three versions, and that's using range attack to get the unit to become disruptive. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to move here. Now, this will actually not allow me to shoot at it, but the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to make sure that I'm going to block the unit so that it cannot evade from me when I'm going to be when I'm going to be charging it. Okay, so this is just, just a way for me to block it because notice that I have no none of my units here, so if I try to go move that way, I will not be able to follow up. So this is something that we want to do. Alright, so let's just turn over here and continue with our ranged attacks I think we can go like this and turn again yes do another shot then we should be able to shoot from here and we could follow up like this and do another shot with our nomad light horse just 28 now we could go like this and shoot at them from here as well. Yes, now we got them to be disrupted. Now remember, if you keep shooting at this now, it will not fall another cohesion level, so it will not get to fragmented to range attacks. But you can use melee attacks and the other circumstances which I talked about. So there are three versions to do this. Let me introduce them to you right now. Version number one is using a melee attack to get the enemy unit to drop two cohesion levels in a single attack. Version 2 is using a combination of melee attack and charging fragmented units. And the third version is using a melee attack and rare or flank attacks. Right, so let's talk about number one, and that's using a melee attack to get the enemy units to drop to cohesion level. Now, the thing about this version is that it really is very strongly dependent on luck. The enemy has to really, really strongly fail at the cohesion level to let this happen, and it happens very, very rarely. So I'm not going to be showing it to you here, because it really depends on your luck. If you want to know more about how you can achieve this and what are the exact rules for this, check out my cohesion test guide. Now let's jump to number two, and it's using a combination of a melee attack and charging a fragmented unit. So what you'd want to do here is you want to use your melee attack to get this unit to become fragmented, and then once it's fragmented and it's locked in melee, you can charge a fragmented unit to get it to break. Now in this particular scenario, this is not useful for us, because if I were to attack right now, just like this, the unit will evade in this direction. And I have no other unit that could kind of follow up well and attack it afterwards. So I wouldn't be able to get it to fragment it in melee right now. So this is not a good tactic for this particular scenario. But I'm going to show you a video with a different unit right now. So essentially you can see that this unit is fragmented and locked in melee. So now all I have to do is a charge with a different unit and get it to break immediately. But I promised you that I'm going to make this unit uh, break in one turn. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to use the third version. And the third version is using the right combination of a flank or air attack with melee attack. So what we're going to do here is we're going to utilize the fact that if you flank or rare attack a unit that can no longer evade, it will automatically drop a cohesion level. And then it's going to essentially drop to fragmented, and then we're going to do a normal melee attack, which will make it go from fragmented to broken. So I said that if I attack this, this unit is just going to run away and wait for me. So how, how am I going to get a rare attack? Well, I'm actually going to block its path. So I'm going to use this unit, move over here to block it. So now this unit has nowhere to run away. And then I'm going to attack with my main unit. What is going to happen, I'm going to walk you through this, is I'm going to attack. This unit will evade. It has nowhere to evade, so I will catch up and get a rare attack. The rare attack will make this unit drop a cohesion level from disrupted to fragmented. Then I'm going to do my normal melee attack on the fragmented unit, which will make it drop from 
fragmented to broken and then the unit will start routing but because it has nowhere to run away it will also disperse so it disappears so let me actually click here and then we're going to go through this one more time so we're attacking the unit is evading we cut off we got rear attack now it's fragmented and now we're doing our normal melee attack which makes it routing and then there's nowhere to run away so now it's dispersed okay so we destroyed this unit in one turn i hope you enjoyed this guide if you did right now in the comments if you want to see me play the game you can check out my mongol invasion playthrough and you should definitely watch it till the end because i get significantly better by the time i get to the final battles and uh, you can also check out my other guides like my tips and trick guide cohesion guide and maybe some more you can click on the right to watch a playlist with all of my guides in one place i'll see you there bye bye